Hi Virgo, welcome to Padita Row. This is going to be your reading from the 18th to the 24th of September 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. So Virgo, it looks like for this coming week, you could be waiting for something, uh, you know, waiting to take something to the next stage. You're, uh, you feel like you're ready to collaborate with others or, um, you know, if this is professionally, uh, you know, maybe you want to take your profession to the next level. If this is a relationship or a connection that you're dealing with, you might want to take things to the next level. Uh, you know, if you have ended or if you're ending off a cycle with somebody maybe you want to progress to the next stage of moving forward i'm not sure i'm considering that because we do have the ten of swords for the energy that you're dealing with so the person that you're dealing with is going through an ending or is feeling betrayed either by you or they might have caused you a betrayal of some kind we'll get uh, you know clarifies to find out and the mutual energy is that of the page of swords so both you and this person uh, keeping an eye on each other, perhaps maintaining distance, physical distance, but keeping mental tabs on a situation. So let's look at the three of uh, wands and why you're showing up as the three of wands for this coming week. Why is Virgo showing up as the three of wands? Too many cards. So we have the Six of Cups, Strength, and the Four of Pentacles. So there is a past person, Virgo, that you are holding on to. You know, with the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, if it's not a past person, it's memories of the past person. And uh, it could be dealing with the Leo, not necessary, but um, maybe you have memories about. Uh, some memories about how difficult something has been and it's or it's really been difficult for you to hold on to the good memories of something but it seems like with the three of wands uh, you know you could be waiting for this person from the past to reach out to you Virgo um, from the past doesn't have to be like distant past but it's just somebody who you already know and uh, it's been uh, with the strength it implies that there is something difficult about uh, you know holding on to this energy but it could be that this coming week you're turning your back towards it i'm not sure i'm not sure uh let's look at the ten of swords for the energy you're dealing with sorry about the doorbell Why is this person showing up as the Ten of Swords in your energy? So we have the Two of Cups in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Star. So uh, it seems like uh, Virgo, the person that you're dealing with, um, you know, is going through some kind of, I don't know if this person has betrayed you or if they feel betrayed by you, but with the five of swords and the ten of swords, this is not a good combination. The two of cups fell out in reverse, so it looks like a falling out between two people or an ending of a connection that seemed really, ending of something that seemed mutual, you know. It seemed like feelings were mutual, but suddenly this person feels like you and them are not on the same page. Now, it's confusing me with the star here. Why is the star showing up here for this person? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, not necessarily. I 
feel like there's been a falling out between this person and you, but this person continues to remain hopeful. You know, they feel betrayed by you and you and them are not on the same page and they know that there might not be enough love in this situation, there might feelings may not be mutual in the situation, but the person you're dealing with continues to be hopeful or or they're trying to heal the situation. You know, they want to bring healing to the situation because they've gone through some kind of realization with the star. You know, and they realize that so these are some energies that need to be healed. I think it's this person from the past. Uh, with the four of so with the four of uh, pentacles, I had told you that you're holding on to this person, but you know you could be just even holding yourself back from this person because the strength is about holding back, and the four of pentacles is about keeping being guarded, holding on but being guarded at the same time. Not being you've been guarded towards this person, but you haven't been able to let them go either, and this person wants to bring in healing into the situation, irrespective of whatever has gone in. Or at least they're hopeful that things will get better. Let's look at the Page of Swords as a mutual energy. Why are the two of you keeping a distance, um, keeping at a distance from each other and keeping, yet keeping tabs on each other? So we have the Emperor, the Six of Swords, and the Three of Wands again. So yeah, both you and this person, you know, there's something about timing at play. And when it comes to moving things to calmer waters, this, you know, with the Emperor here, I feel like both you and this person are action-oriented. You both want to take action. When it comes to moving things to peace, you know, establishing, um, uh, what shall I say, um, calming things down, you know, and taking things to the next level. Now, I don't know what the next level is, whether it's a level of coming, whether it's the next level in coming together or it's whether it's the next level in separation. Uh, but definitely, there's something about, uh, you know, both these figures are looking outward. So you and your person are looking forward to something. With the three of wands, this is a positive energy. But surely you both want to move towards stability. I mean, because the four follows the three. But I just don't know if it's with this person or whether it's with somebody else so virgo this is what i have for you if you're still watching thank you for your patience thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing and i will catch you again soon later bye